It's time. Welcome, everybody, to your week one commissioner address for the 2018 NFL season, the 2018 League of Thrones season. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel uh, feel pretty under the weather right now. Uh, I flew back last night, and uh, yeah, I haven't really done much prep work for this. So we're going to just kind of roll with it. <laughs> Coach Bartney. Um, and what I want to do is I want to go quickly over the draft. I want to go over what Colin has put up. Um, I'm going to uh, go over power rankings for the draft. So first through last, who, who did the best, who did the worst. Uh, and those should be uh, ranked by your commissioner and co-commissioners. So as long as Colin can send me his by the time I'm done with this video, we'll have that part. Um, so we'll go over the draft, we'll go over lineups, we'll go over the matchups for week one, and I might have to just do my own, make up a category for week one if we can't figure it out, because the game is tomorrow, um, and we need categories. So yeah, let's talk about the draft. Alright, what we're gonna do here, is I'm gonna go through all the teams, and I'm going to give them a grade. That is solely my grade. And then uh, we're going to start from 12 and work our way to 1. Therefore, also ranking them from worst to first. So, uh, the. Okay, so <clears throat> I have in front of me. My draft rankings, 1 through 12, and I also have a grade next to each team. Not gonna lie, I haven't put a lot of thought into the grading. But I did put a lot of thought last night into the rankings on my plane ride home. And I was able to think about this league and how it may turn out for some of us. Um, and yeah, I'm not too proud of it, but uh, we're going to go over it anyway. So I will start at 12, work my way up to 1. I will throw up the draft grade that I only only I have given a team. Uh, I will also throw up probably more down in the bottom um, where our co-commissioners rank these teams. So I have their power rankings as well. So if you don't like where I ranked you, um, you will probably like uh, where... Colin or Jason ranked you, so you will see theirs there as well. Um, I'm not smart enough to figure out how to do like the average of our three ranking systems, um, kind of like they do in fantasy football, where Le'Veon Bell was the 1.2 best player projected to go first, or you know, whatever I mean, whenever you average up all the rankings. So I don't know how to do that, so I ain't gonna do it. So you just get to see everyone's right there. Um, all right, so I'm not going over teams, Colin already did it. I'm just Shooting out the power rankings. I wish Colin would send me his because uh, it would be cool to be able to see where. You know what? We're going to start this after he sends it to me. He said it'd be five minutes. Uh, crap. Wait, hold on. All right. I have the co-commissioner's rankings now. And I think it just goes to show that nobody knows what's going to happen this season. <laughs> I think the drafts are so spread out that um, we kind of all we 
anyone can finish anywhere. So don't get your all don't get all butt hurt if you're not happy with where we ranked you. But uh, yeah, it's kind of all over the place. So getting started with it again, we're going through mine. You will have the other two co commissioners uh, rankings in the bottom. At number twelve, Parkney unanimously, and you get a grade of D minus. I'm not gonna fail you because you never failed me and uh, all the classes I took of yours so D minus uh, hopefully you have a good season and your son gets to enjoy it with you you're starting him young <laughs> I do appreciate that you're starting him young he might be the youngest member to join this day if you want to you can add him on as your uh, co-owner I mean he's not gonna make any changes but that'd be cool if he could see his name on the ESPN website number 11 Alex we all kind of ranked you pretty low, uh, and it's just because of the running backs. But uh, I still, th I'm again, I still think that you could easily just have a, a, a good year and make the playoffs with just your receivers. But you get eleven. I give you a draft grade of C minus just because you waited so long to draft a back. At number ten, Connor and Nathan. This is one that really. Uh, I mean, I had mine typed out before I looked at anyone else's. And you guys are ranked pretty high on the other twos. But that doesn't matter for the video because guess who makes the video? Me. And guess where you are? You're at number 10. <laughs> so you get a C plus on your draft. I don't know why I gave you a C plus. I don't know why I ranked you so low. But uh, I did. So deal with it. Uh, number 9. Jeremy. You get a B. Where'd the others rank you? Yeah, also kind of low in that area um number eight coulter you get a b um yeah you're middle of the pack team you'd be you'd be fighting for the playoffs uh number seven nick you get a b plus how's that sound you get a b plus um you ranked a little higher on the other two so there you go um, number six, I guess this would be my playoff predictions, but I didn't even think about that, um, when I made this, but number six, I have Jason and I gave him a grade of B plus. Um, yeah, he's kind of over the place, uh, as well. Um, Colin, Colin has him low. Uh, number five, I have myself, I gave myself an A minus deal with it guys. Uh, um, yeah, I'm ranked pretty low on the other two guys, but they don't understand my strategy. I mean, I got Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean, I got Tom Brady. With his mind and my mind, I'm like the Belichick of fantasy football. Brad just didn't know how to use him last year. I got him now, and we're going to win a ring. <laughs> yeah. So I get an A-. minus. Brad, at number four, you get a B plus, and you might be wondering... How come he's ranked above, but he has a worse grade? Easy, because I liked my draft more than his. <laughs> but I think his team's going to do better. <laughs> Anyways, Brad, you get number four with a B plus. Uh, it's no A minus like me, but uh, we'll both be making the playoffs. So, um, you, I mean, I just have to say it. You were the number one pick, both Brad, or both Colin and Jason. So, uh nice very nice you would probably you'd be number one uh if we did the combined thingy number three we have blaine i only ranked you that high because of potential and i do see potential in your team i don't see potential destruction like most others do i do see the potential to be good um so i gave you a b plus um but you just gotta grind out some wins early in the year uh, where are you ranked? Yeah, you're ranked both eight on the other two. Um, okay, so the top two. Whoever I say next means that the person who I haven't said is first. Um, and they're probably going to be really excited. Number two is Hunter with a grade of A-. minus, Which means number one is Colin. And I gave him an A- minus as well. I don't give A's. So, uh, yeah, there's your power rankings, guys. Hopefully, uh, oh, God. Hopefully you, uh, 
I'm proud. Hey! Okay, let's do it. This is what we've all been waiting for. It's week one, baby. Game start tomorrow. As long as I get this video up on Wednesday, which is today. You probably won't, but... Game start on Thursday, I think. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. Look, we're going over week one matchups. I have who I think's gonna win. Uh, I have no idea. So, yeah, let's just do it. Week one matchups, the marquee matchup. I'm gonna try and pull these up as I go. I just have it typed out. Marquee matchup for week one. I mean, it has to be Colin versus Hunter. I like both their teams. Uh, I think Colin's going to win because of his three receivers. Uh, and I think running back, so obviously they'll be fine. He'll, he'll get by. But I think those receivers are going to be the reason why he wins. Antonio Brown, so good, Hunter. Um, I just think Golden Tate will outperform Crab and, and you know, every, everywhere else the receivers. Um, his other receiver will take yours over. So I'm going Colin there. Um, okay, so on to the other regular matchups and then we will get to my upset of the week i guess um according to our draft rankings so we have Coulter vs blaine we have battle of the brothers week one and i guess battle of the first brothers jason and nick will play eventually um i have blaine winning this one uh i mean he's got the Eaglemeyer curse on his side uh, hopefully that didn't change this year and happens to his players because he's got a few questionables. Um, and then we have Connor and Nathan versus Brad. I have Brad winning this one. Uh, just because I think with running backs, week one production is kind of known. They'll have, you know, they'll get their touches. They'll get their volume. Um, so yeah, I'm just going Brad. I don't, I don't really know, guys. Uh, and then we have Partney versus me. Uh, I'm obviously going with uh, my team um, just because of how we all rank Partney's team. Um, I'm assuming he's not going to perform. Uh, we have Jeremy versus Nick. I have Nick winning this one. But again, Jeremy, those first three picks are so good. And those first three picks could just win you some games all by themselves. So um, hopefully they go off for you. But if they don't, or if not all three of them do, I got Nick here. And then we have... It's, I'm titling it the upset of the week, um, even though when I just looked at it on ESPN now, it has the person, I got Alex beating Jason, and we all ranked Alex's team, like, lower than Jason's, except for Colin, so, I mean, two out of three, we ranked lower, but, uh, I'm still calling it an upset, because Alex just has so many weapons that aren't running backs. Because <laughs> everyone else that isn't a running back is a weapon. Um, I ranked you low, Alex, only because you just didn't draft running backs. Um, as long as those two can just get you some points, I mean, you'll be fine. Everyone else will score points for you. It's just scary. It's just a, it's a sketchy um, plan, but you are a sketchy dude. So, Alex, you will win week one. Congrats. Okay, that is week one. Um... The other thing we need, we need to get categories. So if we haven't already talked about it on the group me or something, go to the Facebook page, comment on the Facebook page, categories you want to see, go back to last year's and just, I mean, we can just redo last year's and then randomize it. Um, but we need it and we need it figured out by tomorrow, preferably by, by Wednesday night, tonight. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, uh, there's your week one. I don't know what I'm about to talk about next, but uh, I'm going to take a drink of this because my throat hurts. Uh, okay. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you with anything else. We did our recap, and we went over uh, week one matchups. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't want to do too much. Not enough has happened really to go over a bunch of stuff. So um, that'll be it for your week one commissioner address. Um as we progress through the season, we will be able to put in all of our fun little extras, uh, whether those be interviews or, um, you know, like uh, owner spotlights, um, things like that. So, you know, nothing flashy for this video, 
just a you know a quick upload sorry I was I was you know out in California I couldn't really do much in terms of prep work um, but I really did want to get something up for you guys so I took today off work to do this no, I'm just kidding. I took today off work just to take today off work um, no I got in really late last night so I couldn't work today I figured no better time to do this than now um, so yeah <sighs> Let's do it, guys. I'm so excited for this season. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited to see uh, Coulter and Blaine's teams hopefully just fall apart and go to last place, and then both of them play in the trash bowl, and then one of them get last, and then the other one moan and complain about it, and it'll be Blaine getting last and Coulter moaning and complaining. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs>